hi um you should already know who i am if you don't i am chelsea torres um and this is my first video actually that's a lie this is like my 10th video because I can't seem to figure out this stupid computer. It's so weird. Uh, I don't understand it. And I don't have like the greatest equipment to like, you know, fix the audio and make this look beautiful or I don't know. So we're just going to see how this goes and hope for the best, right? Who knows? Sarate. Whatever happens, happens, right? Um, so I do want to talk about a couple things that I need to get off my, you know, chest. I need to get off my back because it's kind of annoying me. Um, obviously we all know this past Saturday was the Rumble DC fight. DC won. Um, he completely man, I mean, from my eyes, he completely manhandled him. Uh, his wrestling was just absolutely impeccable. And Rumble had absolutely no takedown defense. So, that's, you know, that's going to happen. And, and when that happens, when you're going against a guy like DC who has the ability to take you down any chance, you know, any way he can, then um, you're kind of, you're kind of screwed. So DC won. He's now the um, new light heavyweight champion. And a lot of people are saying, um, at first a lot of people were saying that he didn't even deserve the title. And now a lot of people are also saying that, um, you know, John Jones is the, that he's not even the real winner because John Jones is the true champion. Let me tell you this. John Jones is an idiot. Straight up. Okay? No champion in anybody's eyes can be caught with, you know, be caught with cocaine in their system and then get into an accident and fled from the scene, come back. And it's just, it's ridiculous. He's acting like a total child. He's acting like, you know, he's... It's like he's... It's like he's on drugs or something. Like, John Jones, are you on, like, drugs constantly? Or is this just cocaine, like, a bump here and there? You know? We need to know these things. Um, because... <laughs> it... It matters. And I don't understand why... Why you would even... Why would, why would you flee? You know, she probably saw you and was like, holy cow, that's John Jones. I'm not going to press charges. If I, if you hit me, I wouldn't press charges. I'd be like, no, nah, that's cool, man. I'll figure it out. I'll pay for it myself. Just kidding. Because you, you can pay for it. But, um, you know, it's just, it's silly and it doesn't make any sense. And true champions don't act like that. Um, that's not any kind of role model. Um, then again, you know, is a champion necessarily can you know can you consider them a role model i think every champion there is you have to almost consider that that's that's kind of you know it's kind of part of the deal it's, it's just one of those givens uh so yeah i personally think um dc is the true champion you know um so my number one is the fact that john jones you got disqualified because you you disqualified yourself uh, you are not a true champion. Not right now. Um, I would like to see you come back and hopefully take your title back because I love watching you fight. Everybody does. I think you're the best fighter in, in the business right now. But the way you're handling yourself, no, not even close. Um, number two reason why this all needs to stop is because DC's the one who won. You know, he, he has the title. He can go home and hang that title up on his wall, and he's the champion. Um, so, yeah, I feel like I kind of explained myself in the first one. So I guess it's really no... I guess it was just one big explanation, not even two explanations. Any hoot. Um, another thing I'm super excited for is the McGregor-Aldo fight. That's July 11th. And I'm so excited for this because... I, if you haven't seen um, any of the embedded videos on YouTube with McGregor and Aldo, you are so in for a treat. It's awesome. This is such an intense, it's an emotional fight. And I say that because when you watch all these embedded videos, McGregor literally picks up Aldo's title, his belt, and he puts it on his shoulder and he taunts Aldo. What? What? If I was Aldo, I'd be having that title all the time. I'd have it on me all the time. When I wake up in the morning, it's right there next to me and I'm cuddling with it. 
when I take my first bathroom break in the morning. It's right there on my shoulder. Maybe I'll even wear it um, when I'm eating breakfast. Uh, you know, when I watch it, when I go to the movies, I will wear that belt. That belt is everything. Aldo, don't let him do that to you. You deserve better than that. I personally think Aldo's gonna actually win this fight. Um, I think he's quick. I think he's a stronger fighter. Uh, but McGregor, it, it's almost like he has all the hype and he has all the adrenaline right now that, you know, it's going to be a close fight. And I think, I mean, he's a great fighter too. It's just I, I'm kind of pulling for Aldo a little bit more. One more thing that I want to say to get off my chest. Stop talking about Tom Brady and deflate gate. Nobody cares. Seriously, nobody cares. So what? The balls were deflated. So what? Tom Brady suspended for the first four games, one of which is against the Cowboys. Nobody cares. Okay, it's oh, it's, it's done and over with. It was done and over with back in February. Okay, you're not going to take a Super Bowl away, right? You're not going to, no, you're not going to do that. Stop talking about it. Media, I'm really talking to you because the NFL, they, they have to deal with that stuff, you know, protocol, whatever. But stop talking about it. Again, nobody cares. We get it. Okay, let's focus on LeBron James, you know, with the Cavs taking them to another finals. Okay, let's let's focus on that. I don't want to focus on that, actually, because that's the last thing I want to talk about. Um, and, you know, I really hope the Warriors beat Cleveland, but with the way things are going, who knows what will happen. Um, so, yeah, this is, like, my first video, and... Hopefully it'll get better in time. I'm literally sitting on the floor because my bratty sister wanted to watch Netflix and be really loud in the background. So here I am. Um, I love talking about soccer, UFC, basketball, football. Uh, if you have anything you want to talk about um, or you want me, you know, you have questions for me. Here I am, right here. Uh, yeah, so this is my first video. I guess we'll see how it goes because kind of weird and nervous for me and I'm like sweating because it's so awkward but uh yeah thanks for watching hopefully see you soon okay bye love you bye